Hey everyone, I've brought the outdoors inside, which can only mean one thing. It's time to take some self-portraits. Today I'm gonna to be using the new G200 continuous lights from Jiun to light up a few different scenarios that you can use indoors for your portrait photography. And before we move any further, today's video is sponsored by Jiun. So this is the equipment we're working with today. I have four continuous lights. These are the Jiun G200s. In the box, you get a carry case, one G200, including a protective cover and reflector, the controller, which is also the power unit and a power cord. I'm also using the Sony a7 IV with, you guessed it, <laughs> the GM 35mm f1.4 lens. This is my idea for the first setup. I want to create a golden hour harsh lit look while also having a little bit of backlight as well. So I found these branches and I've got it hanging up on a C-clamp and then I've got these branches in a little pot and I'll also have a third branch to hold in front of the lens as well. I have the lights half set up already for this shot. I've got this light pointing upwards with the reflector on and that's just gonna give us a bit of ambient light for the room. I'm just gonna press on these shortcuts here because I want a medium warm light. So here we are at 3200 Kelvin and I think that's perfect. It's a little bit warm and not too cold. I also have another light back here in the hallway, which is acting as our backlight for the plants. And I love that because the lights are so small, I can put them on tiny little stands and have them really low to the ground, which is perfect for this first setup that we're doing. I've noticed that because we have a wall here, these branches here are not getting any light. So I'm gonna set up another light pointing at the branches. Finally, we need the light for me, my fill light. So this is what I want to be the harsh golden hour look. So I'm gonna use the light bare. And I'm just gonna place it here on another small stand. Here we have the controller, which you can just add there and I'll plug it in. So this one, I wanna be nice and low, again, to emulate that sunset look. It's usually like on the horizon pointing directly at someone's face. And we're gonna make it extremely warm. I'm really happy with how this first setup looks. So we're gonna start shooting now. And I've got a Bluetooth controller for that because it's just so fast to take photos. <laughs> I kind of like some of these where it's just going over my face too. It looks nice. I also want to warm up the light a little bit. I feel like it looks a little too cool. I'm also getting some shots here where you've got dappled light and I'm getting my eye right in the light and I'm trying not to stare at the light to blind myself, but it looks so good when you can see my eye in the light. set this up and let's set up our next spot. For these photos, I'm going for a more traditional look. So I want to use a softbox for my face light and these G200s are Bowens mount compatible. I have two softboxes by Jiun, the Parabolic 90D and 60D. But since we are in a smaller space, I'm going to use the 60D. You also have 180 degree swivel with these lights. So I have this softbox at about a 45 degree angle down towards my face. And I also have my humidifier with me because I think if we add a little bit of mist, it's just going to add to that moodiness and the cool look of the shot. Where are you? Hello. <laughs> this is looking really cool. This is just a two light setup this time. For my second light, I'm using it bare again at a bright setting and a cool temperature and I've placed it directly behind me for that backlight. This is our second shot and backlight is kind of crazy with uh, curly hair <laughs> to do some photoshopping afterwards. So I want to try some with the humidifier, but I feel like it's just too localized. And we also have so much going on in the frame that it's not really adding anything. This could really work as its own idea though. So maybe next, next self portrait shoot. I'm really glad I took antihistamines today. <laughs> These smell so strong. I do have an actual smoke machine, but again, I feel like there's just so much going on here that we're good, <laughs> we're good without it. And I'm trying to get my knees in this shot as well, just so they look a little bit different. These lights feature their own cooling system with a fan and heat sink. I had two lights set to a very high brightness for an extended amount of time, and they are very quiet compared to other continuous lights I've used. These would be a good option to use for streaming and I'm going to try them out for the next tutorial. I'm going to film in my office too.
I need to show you a comparison. So this is a typical continuous lighting setup. We've got the controller, the power unit, and the light. Versus this, controller, power, and light. And here they are side by side. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> this is the final last look. I'm going for sunset in a country house vibes. <laughs> so let's turn them all on one by one. So the main light we have is the window golden hour coming in. So I've got a gobo attached to the G200. And then I've got a little bit of fill light here on the flowers. And then I've got another fill light just in front of me that's bouncing off the wall just to give us that ambient light again. And then I've got another fill light there, which is adding a bit more light to my face and also to the flowers as well. I'm trying really hard to hide this giant remote in my hand. I wish they made it a bit smaller. These G200s are able to go up to 300 watts, which is actually so bright for my setup. You would ideally use that setting for outside or indoors for a large production. For the light with the gobo, I have it set at 100% of the 200 watt setting for that window light look to cut through all the other lights. I have also been using the ZY Vega app to control the lights once they are set up to fine tweak the brightness and temperature to suit the scene I'm shooting. You can also use the app to sync or group lights together and save presets for them. I find taking self-portraits such a great way to improve your photography. It gives you the chance to explore ideas you might not have time for with a client. So say you are experimenting and find a setup you really like, you can save the light settings as a preset in the app and then reset them up on the photo shoot day. So I'm sitting back on my trusty stool again and I just have this in the background so it gives me a bit of something to play with to put my elbows on and just kind of change my shoulder shape. You might also be wondering, should you be using flash or continuous lights for portrait photography? One of the benefits of using continuous lights for me personally is when it comes to working with a team on a campaign, for example. Usually you'll have a lot of people shooting the scene, including a photographer who can work with either kind of lighting, but also a videographer and usually one or more people capturing content on a phone for socials. So having the scene continuously lit is beneficial for the whole team and can speed up production too by giving everyone more time to shoot. That is all I have for today's video. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite lighting scenario. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.